Good morning. It is Thursday, the 4th of November. I was struck powerfully by Psalm 91. It's the psalm set for today. It's a psalm that is often used at funerals, um, but it's nevertheless a beautiful psalm. It speaks about the faithfulness of God to his people. Um, and his people really are defined not only as all of us, because in a sense God wishes for all of us to find salvation, but this faithfulness very especially for those who are themselves faithful back to God. And so there's a wonderful way in which the psalm speaks about God's presence and he will help us even in the dark of the night, even when the terrors come our way, even when uh, we may stumble or enemies rise against us. And what I find comforting is not that the psalm simply says we live in some kind of incredible panacea and that, you know, we'll win every lottery ticket we buy, every raffle we undertake. We'll always just find a parking spot at exactly where we want to go. We'll never get a traffic fine. It doesn't talk about such a ri almost ridiculous type of life. It acknowledges that life has its ups and its downs, its tough points and its happy points. But, and this for me is incredibly important, in those happy points, God is with us. And more especially in the tough times, God is with us. And it concludes, whoever calls upon his name, God will hear and God will answer. And so folks, it just speaks to me of this incredible opportunity of relationship that our God offers to us who call upon his name. Do you have that relationship with God? Have you called upon the name of God? Is he someone that you know intimately, personally? Does God know you intimately and personally? And so I, I would recommend that you just read that psalm quietly, Psalm 91. Read it perhaps a couple of times during the day and just think carefully about this incredible opportunity of relationship that God offers. Would you want that? Just read that psalm and then hold your hands out to God and say, Lord, make it happen in my life. Speak to me and teach me and show me what it is that I must do to have this level of relationship. Maybe you'll do this for the very first time and you can call yourself a Christian thereafter. Or you are already a Christian and you can do it and say, you have deepened your relationship with this incredible, mighty God that we serve. Folks, have a wonderful day. We'll chat again tomorrow. God bless.